Hi, I'm Nero Thambi Pillay, and today I want to talk about the easiest way for you to invest in areas that have got great capital growth potential, but also cost you nothing, and if anything, will put money into your pocket. You see, I'm getting a lot of inquiries right now because people are saying, look, Nero, I, I understand that the next wave of, of growth is, is coming in, in Southeast Queensland. I've seen some of your, your videos and I, I understand the, the reasons, I understand the history, I understand the population movement. I, I, I understand all that, but I'm concerned because I don't want to be having or have any sort of concerns from a cash flow perspective. If anything, I want the property just to not cost me anything, uh, but how, is that possible? And it's a really good question because that question often comes from us living in Sydney. See, Sydney notoriously has been a low rental return area. Even if right now with property prices being where they are, our rental returns are roughly 2.8%. So with a rental return that low, good luck having that cover your mortgage and all your costs. So generally, almost all people who are investing in Sydney right now are finding that they've got to top up the, the mortgage. They've got to top up the investment property out of their own pocket, out of their own hard-earned savings. And most people just don't want to do that. Of course, I understand. So what I always say to people is, the fundamental goal, the ultimate goal of all investing should be capital growth over the medium to long term. But right now, there is a unique opportunity. There's a particular type of property that you can buy in good growth locations that are also going to give you a positive income. These are what are known as dual income properties. Now, what's that? We, we don't really have the equivalent in Sydney right now, but in certain parts of, of Southeast Queensland, the council is allowing a small percentage of their suburbs, of their estates, to be what are known as dual income properties. So dual income means two lots of income. But the beautiful thing is because it's one dwelling, it's one house, it may be a four bedroom house attached to a one bedroom house or a two bedroom attached to a three bedroom uh, or a three and a one, whatever the composition is, because it's one house, there's only one lot of rates, but there's two lots of income because you've got two lots of tenants. And when you do the numbers here, clients are blown away by how a property could give them two, $300 positive cash flow every month. Now you're not going to retire off that. I understand that's not, the, that's not the aim here. But imagine if you want to get into the market and you get a property in one of the fastest growing areas in the country, but you also get $300 a month positive cash flow before tax, before negative gearing, before depreciation, any of that, just off the top. Well, that's going to go a long way. It's going to put your mind at ease because you know the property is paying you rather than you having to pay the property. And it also now means that you can then take that property, which is giving you a positive cash flow, and then buy maybe another property in a different area that maybe doesn't give you as much of a positive cash flow, even maybe slightly negative cash flow. But the positive cash flow here from the first property offsets the negative cash flow from the second property, and you end up having a portfolio of properties that cost you nothing. That's what's possible when you put the right sorts of properties into your portfolio. Now, of course, that doesn't mean you just go and buy only dual income income properties. You do want some diversification. But who does a dual income property suit? Well, it suits the first time investor who wants to get into the market, wants a property that doesn't cost them, them, them anything, suits you very, very well. If you're an experienced investor, the other day I, was, I spoke to a client who had bought four investment properties, but the cash flow on that portfolio was quite negative. He still had some borrowing capacity though, and we helped him get into a dual income property that's gonna pay him around about $350 positive per month, which is gonna go a long way to offsetting the negative cash flow from his existing properties. But let me caution you, always remember, the ultimate goal with investing in property is capital growth. I always get nervous when I talk about something unique, something different, because I know some people will, will try and go and do it alone. That's, that's fine, but please be, be, be wary. There are a lot of people out there selling dual income properties in terrible, terrible locations. They're selling it on the basis of cash flow. But if you buy an area with a high vacancy rate and you buy an area that hasn't got great capital growth, the cash flow is immaterial. You want the capital growth. So always focus on the capital growth first, get some assistance, 
and then look to see if we can get a dual income property that's going to suit you. So if you'd like some assistance with looking at a dual income property, it's going to give you positive cash flow in good capital growth locations in and around Southeast Queensland, which if you've seen any of my other work, you know, I believe is the only area to be investing in for the next few years for, for growth. Then click the link below and let's have, have a discussion. Leave us your contact details and I'd love to chat to you about whether looking at a dual income property to give you positive cash flow in capital growth locations is right for you. Look forward to speaking to you. Bye for now.